Welcome, my friends. Brendan back here with another video for part two in the Bricks Maven series. I wanted to start with a quick note that I have put on the previous video that says uh, that as of this year, the Figma file is no longer available with the annual subscription currently. The Figma file was, was for lifetime license holders and it is now being reworked to be made reusable and more easily editable with variables. And it will be released as another standalone product for a nominal purchase amount. I've added that because I feel like whatever they charge is going to be pretty small. What does nominal mean? Nominal is far below the real value or cost. Okay. We need to keep that in mind when we look at the Figma, about Figma components that this comes with. These are reusable. You can use it with your team to organize the site, which we're just going to do in this video today. And then if you are a designer or you have a designer on your team, then you can pass it off to them to style. And it comes with all the components that you will need to then build the site one to one in bricks. OK, so let's jump into it. All right. What do we got? Uh, I have a blank Figma file that I have I duplicated the project that we looked at in the previous video and we have nothing in it yet. I have added, here are some sections here. We're going to build a home page. We're going to build a secondary page. We're going to build an FAQ page, service, single page, service, archive page, service, you know, contact page, all this stuff. We're going to get that done quickly. Watch us get it done. Hopefully we can keep this, I don't know, under 10 minutes. We'll see. All right. So we have our frame here. Let's get our header. All right, header four. That's the one we want. And then we're going to do our footer. We're footer one, it looks like we're doing. So keeping it nice and simple. Let me also just quickly click this frame. Let me make this a little smaller with that. And because we're going to copy this and repeatedly use this. The other thing is, what else? We're also going to have a CTA right above our footer. So let's type in CTA. And we'll drag that down. And what, which one do we want? We want number five. Okay. And then we are going to duplicate this. We're going to call this our home page. And great. So what else do we have on our homepage? We have, let's make this one bigger because we're gonna have more stuff on it. And later we're gonna componentize some of these in bricks. So fantastic. I've got two, you know, I should probably be using auto layout, but uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta click and drag. We're getting real down and dirty with it. All right, so what else? Hero 20 to hero. Uh, hero 20. Sure. I don't know why my stuff is not snapping. That's very annoying. Okay, so header page seven. Header page seven. And this is just kind of like an intro here, I think. Uh, seven. What else? Uh, grid five. Grid five. Okay, grid five. We might maybe have a custom section here. Let's just keep moving to feature section. Oh, well, that's huge. Uh, feature 10. And actually, I'm just going to delete that component from it for now. We just want two of these. What else are we going to put in here? Header page seven. Well, isn't that the one we've already used? Let's duplicate that. Wish this would snap. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So what do you got next? Header page seven, pricing. Pricing section. Uh, which one was this? Pricing 10. Pricing 10, perfect. 
I'm probably gonna have to make this a little bit taller again. Okay. Keep plugging away. Keep plugging away. Oh my gosh, I wish my stuff would snap. Okay. Pricing. And then we're doing another feature. Feature two. Oh. Where have you gone? Very annoying. Okay. Feature 22, and then let's do a testimonial. Which one did I have here? Testimonial 24. Okay. God, I gotta go faster. And an accordion. Okay. All right, that's more or less what we want. And there's our footer. I almost had the exact right proportions. Okay. Uh, perfect. So, next stop. What do we got? Uh, secondary page and an FAQ page. Okay, so. Again, let's duplicate, duplicate, FAQ, and this will be our secondary page template. And this one is actually, might even be able to delete this, and then before I do this, and before I duplicate it, let's do header page, and header page 10. Not one, header page. All right, so that's what we're gonna use for our secondary page template. Let's duplicate that again. Uh, secondary page template, this will be FAQ. And what do we need for FAQ? 40 and seven, we have that one somewhere. That's right here. This one's supposed to be, oh no, no, sorry. That is a different one. So yeah, let's just duplicate this one. Oh man, I bet you guys could do a better workflow than this. But we're just getting quick and dirty. 40 and 7. That's gonna be there. And I don't know, maybe we're I mean we're gonna change out some of this design. None of this is hard and fast. We're just <laughs> we're making it up as we go. Okay, content one. Content one on our service page. So let's get the service page going again. Service single and service single and feature 22. Got that one right here, I believe. Twenty two and content fifteen. Content fifteen. Okay, let's see. Content fifteen, what do we got? Fantastic. Let's make this a little taller. Wonderful. All right, single page is done. Let's um and let's duplicate that. Let's delete that. This will be service archive. Service archive will have grid 17 and accordion four. So grid 17 and accordion four. Grid 17 will be up here. These are gonna be all our services. And again, let's make this a little taller. Keep that 1600. Oh my gosh. Guys, I forgot all of my keyboard shortcuts in Figma. Like, the ones in Penplot are pretty much the same. But anyway, whatever. Again, this is quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. Keep that in mind. Thanks for sticking with me. All right, contact. 
page. Let's make a contact page. And in contact, we want, uh, where are we? Contact 26. Okay, contact. Contact 26. I mean, I don't know if we're going to have this this um, header layout on everything, but eh, we'll just have it in for now. Okay, contact 26. Let's uh, make this smaller. What else? Are, do we have anything else on there? Contact accordion 4. Accordion 4. Maybe make this accordion 4. Wonderful. Now that's accordion four. Let's duplicate that. And put that on our contact page. We might want some FAQs there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, these are getting away from me. All right, stay organized, everyone. That's the uh that's the mantra for the new new year. All right, let's keep going. And what are we at? We're at 10 minutes now. All right, we're almost done. Um what else do we got here? Blog single, blog template. So, single, blog template, blog one, archive one. Perfect and simple. Blog. Now, I think they have several different block sections. We might take some more time when we build it, but I'm just going to do block single post and just pretend that that fits. Okay, perfect. And archive, block archive, and block archive. Again, just uh, use your imagination. It fits. Pretend this is a real project. Don't cut corners like me. Okay, perfect. So we have our layout essentially. That's what we're going to do. Um, that is what it looks like. It's a very, you know, simple, clean, common, modern layout. It looks looks wonderful out of the box. Uh, now, the question is, what do you do next? Do you style this in Figma? Do you take it right into Bricks and import, you know, your sections? Whatever it is, you have options now, and you can import it as, you know, as you need. You can design in Figma, which is a great workflow, which you should probably be doing. And um, so what did I do? I spent probably 30 minutes and I did this exact same process and did that. And I came up with some lightly styled stuff. It's not a ton of styling. Um, we got a little bit of branding. I found some pictures that match the colors. Um, essentially, my design technique was, was to put these little accent <laughs> bloms all over the place, which, you know, it makes it look like a little sass. Uh, which is the idea here. So you know, it's kind of modern and almost retro futuristic with these colors. Uh, in any case, this is the exact same layout that we just saw, but um, styled up a little bit, right? I mean, you can go all out, you can go crazy with it. What are the, some of the things I did? So to run down quickly, come back to our foundations. I came up and I updated all these fonts. You know, you click in here, you can edit, Here's all, our, uh, all of our H1s, the regular, medium, bold H1. Uh, same with the H2, H3, all the way down to your text as XS. So you can style that. I really only went through the, the, the biggest heading titles and the uh, bold ones, and I set those. Picked a man rope font to match uh, sort of a more modern look just to get something a little different. That's it. Um, that's all I did. Buttons, what did I do? I came in here, and if we come, like, Compare this to the other buttons here. It's literally so simple. I mean, it's I did some rounded corners. I did change the text color, uh, made it a new primary color. Pretty simple stuff. Um, you know, you have to make sure that you're you have good contrast on here. Some of this stuff is not properly accessible, of course, and they're not using this in the design. What else did I do here? Uh, I again, I updated the the color here from the red to this uh, green. I also created another color just called secondary and did the same process to create the light color 
where you come in here and you set the HSL to a high number to get a high lightness. And just like that, I have a, you know, some other colors to work with in my uh, folder, in my project. Come back to the page here, documents. What else did I do? Simple stuff. Again, very simple stuff. I want to purposely keep it simple so you, know, you can see that it's not like that far to get to something that looks nice that isn't just a cookie cutter. Um, now, uh, what else did I do? So like, I don't know, like I added this, uh, basically right clicked this icon, wrapped it, gr it grouped it. And then I have a frame to work with kind of like wrapping or, uh, wrap, you know, wrapping content in a div or a block or something in bricks. Very similar. If you're familiar with that, uh, did that just added some padding, added the light color, added some border radius, simple, simple stuff. You know, again, my, my wonderful, um, random blobs here that are not grouped or anything don't do it like this uh you know i even i can do better than this but and you should certainly try to be better than me all right so um again we have some stuff here that we've we've componentized you know again when i when i did this um little background color here when i change that it's of course updating it across my whole project just like classes so it's updating there I did the same thing for this section, which I believe is also used further down on the home page. Again, we're able to make reusable components. Do we imagine a future where there's going to be maybe something like this on another page? Yeah, absolutely. So we're we're set. Um, again, same with like I don't know, just to put a background color on this section, and again, that is updating on all the sections here. So um, very powerful stuff to design it this way. I think. I mean, personally for me, I like having having stuff organized like this. You can see the name of each page, the flow of each page. Everything's reusable. Um, again, if you want to update any of these once you import, let me go back here. If you, um, I guess I'll just show you guys really quick. We click on this and we put, I don't know, uh, 50 border radius. That is now rounded. And if we come back to our uh, pages, now the question is, do we have that extra large button anywhere? No, probably not. So uh, might as well just click in here, click here, uh, 60 border radius. All right. And of course that's not updating because each one of these has their own instance of it, I guess. But in any case, you get the idea um, where we are componentizing things. Again, you can, anytime you're on a component, uh, an in, or sorry, an instance of a component, you can right click it and go to the main component. Again, this will take you to the list of, for instance, all the features. So we're feature 21, 22, 20, et cetera. So these are all the features of Bricks Maven. This is the master version. Keep that in mind as you're styling. You can always uh, create a, an instance of a component, right? So it doesn't have to be a, a, a the master version, okay? So keep that in mind when you're styling up. All right, next video, we will go ahead and build uh, all the stuff that you're seeing here. Uh, I hope that uh, we can get it done pretty quickly. Appreciate you sticking around. If there, you know, if you want to see me do this styling in Figma, I mean, I can, I can include a video like that. It's, again, pretty simple stuff. I'm not an expert in Figma, but... Um, these components let you style up pretty quickly. And the fact that you can just kind of reuse it and duplicate your project is very, very useful. So anyway, thanks. Take care and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.